ecological systems theory is a way to understand how people develop. It was created by a psychologist named Yuri Bronfenbrenner in 1979. This theory explains how different environments affect a person's growth and behavior, the five systems. Bronfenbrenner's theory includes five systems. Each system surrounds a person and influences them in different ways. Let's look at each system. Microsystem. The microsystem is the closest environment to a person. It includes places where people have direct interactions. Examples are family, school, friends, and neighbors. In the microsystem, a person has direct contact and relationships. These interactions have a big impact on development. Mesosystem. The mesosystem is made up of the connections between microsystems. For example, the relationship between a child's home and school is part of the mesosystem. If parents are involved in school activities, it can help the child do better in school. These connections between different parts of a person's life are important. Exosystem. The exosystem includes settings that do not directly involve the person, but still affect them. For example, a parent's workplace is part of the exosystem. If a parent has a stressful job, it can affect how they interact with their child at home. The child is not directly involved with the workplace, but it still impacts their life. Macrosystem. The macrosystem is the larger culture and society in which a person lives. It includes laws, customs, and cultural values. For example, growing up in a country that values education will shape a person's views on learning. The macrosystem has a broad influence on all the other systems. Chronosystem. The chronosystem involves changes over time. This can include big events like moving to a new city or smaller changes like growing older. These changes can affect all the other systems. For example, a family's financial situation may change, which can impact the child's development, how it all fits together. All five systems are connected. They work together to influence a person's development. Changes in one system can affect others. For example, a change in the macro system, like a new law, can change the exosystem, which might then affect the microsystem. Why is it important? Theory helps us understand that development is complex. It shows that people are influenced by, by many factors. These factors come from different environments, not just one. Understanding this can help parents, teachers, and others support healthy development. Real life example. Imagine a teenager named Alex. Alex lives with his family, microsystem. His parents have demanding jobs, exosystem. They value education, macrosystem. So they are very involved in his school, mesosystem. Over time, Alex goes through different life stages and experiences changes, chronosystem. Each part of Alex's life is connected. The stress his parents feel at work can affect their interactions with him. Their involvement in his school can help him succeed. The values of their culture shape their priorities. As Alex grows, the influence of these systems will continue to change and shape his development.